Uh, with, based on, uh, on consultations with regulatory agencies, the Navy will evaluate the range of potential future corrective action scenarios. Uh, the corrective action scenarios will facilitate uh, site decision making, uh, such as no action, land use controls, containment, in situ uh, treatment, uh, remove through excavation and dredging, and then we'll, uh, we anticipate the draft of this report to come out in spring of 2019. So this is uh, site 24. You can see, uh, I'm going to briefly go over this so you know where site 24 is located. Uh, this treasure island right there in site 24 is located right there and this is the site 24 location the boundary of this uh, as you can see is right there uh, avenue m runs right right here uh, this is uh, building 99 uh, in the plan development is going to be down here, down there. And we'll talk about um, this area to the northeast. We'll talk about this uh, later in the presentation. Um, so I just wanted to give you an up, uh, rough, show you where this site is located. So the performance monitoring program, uh, here's an overview of that. Uh, building 99, as I said, is right there. And this is where a dry cleaning facility used to be. Uh, and uh, the dry cleaning fluid, fluids leaked and contaminated the soil and the groundwater. So every three months we uh, have collected groundwater and soil gas samples to monitor the progress uh, Excuse of me, are those cancer causing chemicals? We'll save some questions till the we'll, end of the presentation, please. Well, it'd be nice if it's not just fluid, right? Yeah, I think you missed a lot of, we had a lot, of, we had detailed uh, discussions of this last, last year. Oh, I know, so. I was here. Yeah, you were there, right? Yeah. But it's true, they're chemicals, right? Carcinogens. We'll save the questions till after the question and answer period at the end, please. <coughs> so anyway, uh, every three months we've been collecting uh, groundwater and soil gas samples to monitor the progress in groundwater remedy uh, to determine when cleanup goals are met. So the large red dotted lines right there is the extent of the uh, soil gas exceeding cleanup levels. This is before, before we did the remedial action. And you will see in other later slides that these boundaries uh, have been reduced significantly based on, on that remedial action. So the two um, orange areas uh, are, is, is where we excavated the soil right there and in here. Remember the, the dry cleaning facility used to be in this building here. So we removed 1,200 cubic yards of material from, from these two excavations. They were taken off-site. I think we discussed this last year. Constantly. Um, so the three blue dotted circles, there's one here, two, in three is where we performed groundwater treatment which covered the entire uh, extent of the three groundwater plumes. So quarterly uh, we sampled at the green colored wells. You can see where the green colored wells are. This is where we collected every quarterly and that included eight soil gas wells in seven groundwater monitoring wells. And uh, we'll start the, uh, the fifth quarter uh, sampling this month. And annually, uh, once a year, we sampled all the wells. You can see all of these wells. 
we sampled everything there uh, once a year, and we did that at the end of last year uh, in, in December. Uh, so the total here, uh, we sampled 18 soil gas wells in this whole area and 14 uh, groundwater monitoring wells. <coughs> so we'll start by looking at the overview of the December 2017 groundwater results. So the blue dotted line, as I said, uh, is uh, with the baseline extent of the groundwater contamination was, right in here, here, and there. And then the, the red dashed lines, you can see right there, one and two. Remember, we excavated these areas as well right there. So this is the, the red dotted dashed lines are the current extent of groundwater exceeding cleanup goals. So as you can see, um, the remedial action we, we performed has significantly decreased the extent of that contamination. The results indicate elevated concentrations of contaminants of concern remain in only two wells at the site, TW11, which is there, that one, and TW48R that one. So these two are the only ones that, that are, have a, a, a that has ke ke chemical contaminants remaining and we're working, you know, getting rid of that. 